Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is about how to solve systems of equations, and I've had some previous videos about how you graph the line from each equation and find out where the lines intersect, or you can use the substitution method, which is actually a double substitution. In this video, we're going to talk about elimination. We're going to eliminate either the x's or the y's, and we solve for the variables separately. Let's take a look at how we do this. What we simply do is we look for the x's and the y's that are exactly the same. Now in this case I have a negative x and a positive x. Those are negative 1 and positive 1 x's. And if I added those they would drop out. And those x's would disappear. Over here we have a positive 2x and a negative 2x. And those are opposites. Those would drop out. Now down here we have 10x and 10x. And those are exactly the same, same sign, so we're actually going to end up subtracting. And here, the x's are exactly the same again, negative 2x and negative 2x, so we're going to subtract. So here's how you do it. In all four of these examples, we're going to be eliminating the x first, but sometimes you'll be eliminating the y's. Now these are all going to be either addition or subtraction. Since these x's are opposite already, we are going to add those equations together. So those x's are eliminated. That gives me 19y equals negative 19. And as you know, if we divide each side by positive 19, y would be a negative 1. All right, so that is my first answer. Then it becomes substitution. I know the y value, now I just have to substitute it in there and find the x value. So let's take the first equation. It doesn't matter which equation we substitute, but I'll take the first one. And I'm going to rewrite it, but I'm going to substitute the negative 1 in place for the y, because that was our first answer. So now it's a little bit of algebra, a couple of steps here, and we'll figure it out. So negative x minus 9, because that's what happens when I multiply there, equals negative 14. I'm going to add 9 to each side. So I can get rid of that free number. And then I have negative x equals negative 5. Okay, now in this case, it's actually a negative 1x, right? So I'm going to divide each side by negative 1. A shortcut would be that I change the sign on both sides. But what you're really doing is dividing each side by a negative 1. So x would be positive 5. All right, now when I put this together as an ordered pair, because remember, equations are lines, and when we're finding a uh, answer to a solution to a system of equations, it's an ordered pair where the lines cross, if they cross. So in this case, we're going to have a positive 5 for the x value and a negative 1 for the y value. That's my official answer. Now let's do number 8. And again, I urge you, if you, in these videos, if you already know what to do or you want to give it a try, click pause and then watch me do it later. So the x's are eliminated, and that gives me 13y equals negative 26. I'm going to divide each side by positive 13, of course, and that will give me my answer of negative 2. All right, there's my first answer. Now I substitute that value into either equation. I'll go ahead and put it into the second equation. Um, I know it's negative 2x plus 8. And instead of y, we're going to put in the negative 2, our first answer, equals 0. All right, negative 2x minus 16 equals 0. We're going to add 16 to each side. And then we will get negative 2x equals positive 16. Divide each side by negative 2. And that will give me my answer of negative 8. All right. Now put it in 
ordered pair form, the x value goes first and then the y value. And so my equation would cross at a point negative 8, negative 2. All right, you try 9 and 10, and we are going to be subtracting. So watch the signs there. We have to subtract because the signs are exactly the same the way they are now. All right, you give it a try. Hit pause, and we'll come back. All right, you see the answer number 9 is positive 3, positive 5, but let's prove how we get that. We are going to subtract each of these in the second equation. So that makes it a negative 10x, a positive 8y, and a positive 10. All right? So again, the subtraction rule is that we add the opposite. So we have to go through and change the opposite sign of all the parts in the second equation we're subtracting. So now it's 10x, take away 10x. Those x's are eliminated. Now it's negative 4y and a positive 8y. And so that would be positive 4y. And here I have a positive 10 and another positive 10, which would be 20. So obviously, y would have to be a positive 5. All right, and that's that part right there. But let's substitute it in there. And 10x, I'll go ahead and choose the first equation there, although it doesn't matter which one. 10x minus 4 times 5, because y was 5 when we got the answer. And that would be 10x minus 20. Whoops, forgot my x there. Equals 10. And, uh, whoa, better uh, erase that. Add 20 to both sides, so 10x equals 30. And, of course, x must be 3. All right. And finally, we are going to subtract this second equation here. And that will change the sign of each part. All right. Remember, subtracting is adding the opposite. So now we're going to combine those together. Those x's are eliminated. Now it's a 1y and a 5y, which gives me 6y. An 11 and a 19 now. They're both positive, so it would be 30. y would have to be a 5. All right, substitute it into either equation. I'll go ahead and put it in the second equation. The original equation was negative 2x minus 5 times the 5 I got for my answer equals negative 19. Got to be careful of the signs there. So negative 2x minus 25 equals negative 19. Add 25 to each side. And I'm going to get negative 2x equals 6, and x would be a negative 3. All right, as indicated in that ordered pair. All right, now this is the first video of the elimination method. I'm going to have a couple other elimination methods. I'm going to show you variations of this. So make sure you do a search on my channel for how to solve systems of equations and look for more in the elimination method. Thanks for watching this video. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.